Today we're going to be talking about Taylor Swift. Yeah, I didn't bet you didn't expect that. So Taylor Swift today outed the George Soros family. On my channel, we've actually mentioned that group for a while now, and the, he's getting notoriety in that he's buying up media outlets. Taylor Swift here is probably going to have something bad happen to her within the next few weeks or a month or so. One of the things I'd like to point out is there's a lot of people that go against Hillary Clinton, the Democratic Party, or George Soros himself, who virtually pays the Democratic Party's way. They don't like when you out them. And she right now is basically trying to combat him because he bought her property rights. He won't allow her to sing the way she wants to. I've tried to explain this before. This is what Kurt Cobain, I believe, in Nirvana was talking about. That once you sign a label, your music isn't yours. Your look isn't yours. You don't have the rights to your image. You don't have the right to your sound, your music, your ideologies. You don't have the rights to those things anymore. And I think Taylor Swift is learning that depending on who buys up your property, you will either get the respect you deserve or you will be forced into being a slave for them. Now I'm going to roll the clip. I think Taylor is missing the point. At the end, she explains that it's toxic masculinity. She's missing the point. This is not about toxic masculinity. This has nothing to do, zero, with toxic masculinity. She hit the nail on the head with the first part that George Soros basically owns her butt. That she doesn't have a right to her own stuff. She signed that on her own, but she doesn't have a right to that. She doesn't have a right to who controls it or owns it or purchases it. She goes up to a label, says, I'm a really good singer, sign me. They sign her for millions. She becomes a millionaire, but she doesn't have the right to go and sing where she wants, play where she wants. Same thing with football. Football players can't go play football somewhere else in the season. Even in the off season, they're not allowed. These are contracts. These are binding contracts that each and every one of these people has to sign. That's why football players, baseball players, soccer players, you name it, have agents. Because those agents know the legalities and the deals that are made in those sports and in those musical worlds. And whatever agent signed for Taylor Swift really wasn't looking out for her when they let her get involved with the George Soros family. Anyway, here's a clip. My entire catalog was sold to Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings in a deal that I'm told was funded by the Soros family, 23 Capital, and the Carlisle Group. Lately, there's been a new shift that has affected me personally and that I feel is a potentially harmful force in our industry. And as your resident loud person, I feel the need to bring it up. And that is the unregulated world of private equity coming in and buying up our music as if it is real estate, as, it, as if it's an app or a shoe line. This just happened to me without my approval, consultation, or consent. After I was denied the chance to purchase my music outright, my entire catalog was sold to Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings in a deal that I'm told was funded by the Soros family, 23 Capital, and the Carlisle Group. Yet, to this day, none of these investors have ever bothered to contact me or my team directly to perform their due diligence on their investment, on their investment in me, to ask how I might feel about the new owner of my art, the music I wrote, the videos I created, photos of me, my handwriting, my album designs. And of course, Scooter never contacted me or my team to discuss it prior to the sale or even when it was announced. I'm fairly certain he knew exactly how I would feel about it though. And let me just say that the definition of the toxic male privilege in our industry is people saying, but he's always been nice to me. Now this isn't the first time she's had an outing with record labels or anyone who's purchased her music. This isn't the first time that she's had an outing with them. There were a couple other instances where she had problems with them. However, I would say she's not quite as much the drama queen as we're accustomed to. She's not exactly a snooky. So I think we should listen here. She's saying that George Soros has manipulated her. It goes without saying that this isn't the only one. When somebody puts the term philanthropist, when they throw that word around, 
That means that they're all the hell over the place. Their money is not even their money. They don't even know what that money's doing anymore. They have so much money invested in so many endeavors, they don't even know what endeavors they're putting the money towards anymore. And it's unusual to say, hey, well, we have this person from another country that's a globalist that's paying for the Democrats, and he owns some of the media, and he owns some of the voting booths. At what point do people put two and two together that this guy is literally infiltrating your own government and trying to control it from the inside? That kind of power is absolutely bonkers. And you let it in our country. The Democrats are getting paid to allow this guy to run amok in our country. This isn't the only media that he does. He's a partial owner of CNN, which explains the Trump hate. He just had an interview two or three days ago where he explained 30, 40 years ago, the globalist agenda was on the rise. That people appreciated the globalist agenda. People jet setting all over the world and setting up camp at different places and making money and trading from those people. Basically milking places dry and then leaving. And he even admits that it's going downhill for him. These people in media are bought time after time where you never saw or heard anything from a political figure or a media figure that said anything wrong about Trump before. Matter of fact, hung out with him. And now it's, oh, he's a bad guy and all this other stuff. Well, if you knew he was such a bad guy before, why were you hanging out with him? And the same thing goes here. If Soros is such a good guy, then why is he taking Taylor Swift's property rights and not so much as even saying thank you? Not even coming in and saying, hey, I bought your property rights. You owe me a th- nothing. Just silence. We bought your stuff. Taylor is probably going to have to meet the executioner, so to speak. She's now going to probably have to deal with some kind of bad tidings coming her way within the next few weeks. It's just how it works. Don't believe me. Watch what happens. In the next few weeks, Taylor Swift's going to fall down and break a leg, or something's going to happen that's going to be dramatic. You watch. All because she insulted the George Soros family. Again, Trump has been trying to tell people these are not good people. They're very bad people. They're very bad people. They're manipulative, controlling. You see how they're doing an impeachment. These Democrats are doing an impeachment where they don't even have a witness. They literally don't even have a witness. There's, there's no witness to witness anything. They have the actual transcript of a phone call. They can read it, it's the full transcript, it has nothing condemning on it, still going through an impeachment. This is the only impeachment in presidential history out of, I believe, three, the three full impeachments. Remember Nixon, he left before he was able to be impeached. I think the idea is to push him out. You see how they villainize people. Look how they turned Trump into such a villain. Everybody was shaking his hand before he ever became a Republican, before he ever started attacking the Democrats. We can see overreaction on the media, Don Lemon, freaking out about a Thanos tweet that's like two and a half years old. Well, a meme that's two and a half years old. And he's freaking out. He's like losing his mind because, oh my goodness, Trump did this. Is that objective to you? Is that objective media? Is that something that they're trying to give you an opinion or are they just giving you the news? Because what I've seen on the news, I can't stomach anymore. It's all pandering. It's pandering for the media. It's pandering for the Democrats. It's pandering all in general to the wrong people. And it's giving the wrong ideology. What they're doing now is saying, if you grow up and you want to be a Republican and you want to be a president, good luck with that. Good luck with that, all y'all. Good luck. Do you see what we did to Trump? We can do that to you. And I can promise you, the same applies with Republicans. I'm a Republican, and I'm going to tell you right now. The next Democratic president we have, before day one, I'm going to be like, impeach, impeach, impeach. And that's the president that they've brought upon us, especially when you don't have any kind of witnesses. And you know who pushes all the strings for this? George Soros. When they had protests all over the country because Trump was having rallies, Who bust all those kids in? They literally had buses lined up to go to these places. Who paid for that? Who bust all these kids in? Who paid for them? Why is Antifa sitting on the side of the road? I can literally bring up video where Antifa's sitting there protesting George Soros. Asking him in their protesting, where's our money? They're literally saying, George Soros, where's our money? That's what they're saying. Read their lips. It's not doctored. 
So he paid for this. This is not philanthropy. This is absurdity. And this is greed. This same person is paying for a group of people who says no walls and he's got a huge wall around his property, properties. He doesn't live in the United States. He has a home here. Only because the United States government has always been stupid enough for people in other countries to buy land here. Even the Mexican government is smart enough to know better. But this is our country, and as screwed up as it is, Taylor Swift should have the right to meet the people who have actually purchased her work. But unfortunately, Taylor, you're now part of the system with very bad people, and you're going to have a problem from here on out. I do wish you for the best. I don't wish you ill. I realize that you're a never-Trumper, anti-Republican, whatever. I really don't think you're that bad. But you're going down a bad road when you deal with people like this, and I think you realize that. And I think the American public really need to realize that as well. That these so-called philanthropists are going out and usurping your laws, taking your rights, taking your privilege. Make no mistake, this has nothing to do with toxic masculinity. He would have done this to David Hasselhoff just as soon as he would have done this to you. It has nothing to do with toxic masculinity. It's all, all about getting what you want. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, a good night, a good morning, whichever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that around here. And leave a comment down below. We like to argue, too, so we appreciate that as well. God bless. See you.